You don't have time to step back. You got to go forward. You got to push harder. Excuses, get out of my way. That's what this is about. So you got to recognize when it gets tough, you better get tough. Easy does not count. Easy does not work. You can't cheat your way up. You got to push your way up. Not everyone is ready to be at the top. Not everyone is suitable to be at the top. If you're having a mental breakdown, then the body will believe everything that the mind is telling it to do. You got to understand, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And if the mind ain't right, then the body won't be right. You have to understand that you have to have a connection. The connection of righteousness. The connection of fighting. The connection of faithfulness in you and your abilities and your strength and your honor and your integrity. Everything that you do on this moment counts in this place. You can't wait for someone else to push you through it. You got to push yourself. You are born and you are born to live and fight. So on this day and for the rest of your life, if you're working, work a little bit harder. You can't do easy. There is no easy in success. There is no easy in pushing that weight. There is no easy in running that extra mile. If it's easy, why are you doing it? If it's easy, how are you growing? If it's easy, how are you gonna be your best? Suffer now and get the rewards later. Don't ask for it, take it, it's yours. Go get it. If you believe in the possibilities, then make it work for you. Now you got to also understand this. It ain't gonna be easy. It's not gonna be a walk in the park. There's always more to give. You got to be willing to sacrifice. You got to be willing to hurt. You got to be willing to yell out. Whatever it takes, keep pushing forward. Don't you give up on your life. Don't you give up on those reps. Don't you give up on giving it what it takes to get the most of yourself. Some of you right now may be wondering, why is this guy yelling? I'm not yelling, I'm making noise. I'm making noise to scare away your excuses. I'm sounding off because maybe that weakness doesn't understand the power that you possess. I know for myself, if I got to shout it out, I'm gonna shout it out. I'm not gonna let things hold me down. I'm not gonna let people tell me I don't count. I'm not gonna let this place of business tell me I have no business. Yes, the voice, the power, the passion, the love, Everything that I have inside, I give it to you. I give it to the listener. I give it to the weightlifter. I give it to the marathon runner. I give it to the swimmer. I give it to the Zumba dancer. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. When the time comes, you must recognize that you got to be better. You got to be tougher. You got to be stronger. Because nothing that did not create you cannot break you. Be the best of yourself. Be the strongest of the strongest. Don't let anything or anyone hold you back because you have it. It's all in you. Possess it. Love it. Live it. Give it all you got. And from the bottom of my heart, be productive. Stay strong in it. No excuses. And conduct your business. Listen up! Yes, I'm talking to you! If you can hear my voice, you've got work to do! This is something you all need to understand. If you want to be the best in whatever you do, you got to start acting different than everybody else. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone because you have the ability to create the life you want. You've been put in a position where you ultimately doubted yourself. You started to believe you don't belong here. 
You're not that good. You don't fit the criteria on what the rest of the world is looking for. I didn't want to be like everybody else. I wanted to be the fucking best at everything I did. And I did. Do you realize how difficult it is to be different? different? Winning requires discipline. Commit to making things happen. You've got a destiny to fulfill. You've got a purpose to walk into. You've got dots to connect. I want to be remembered forever. And in order for that to happen, I realized I needed to fucking act like it. So don't just talk about what you want to happen. Be an action taker and recognize that you don't have to be jealous of anyone. We all want to do something. We all want to be somebody. We all want to go somewhere. You can't be doing the same shit that everybody else is doing if you want to be the best. You achieve your goals only when you are disciplined enough to keep showing up when you don't feel like it. The best of everything comes with a fucking price. Success stories have a humble beginning. In this very moment, all you have is all you need. What would you like to do? What do you believe you've been destined to do? Sometimes you have to fall back into the dark room and focus on you. You have a date with destiny. You have unfinished business. It's time for you to go back to the drawing board with a new perspective. If you can see it, you can have it. I am Clutch. I am the difference maker. I am the game changer. I must work out X amount of times a week. I must forgive. I must evolve. I must become. I must retain. I must grow. I must live. I must evolve. I must go to the next level. I must live in this type of house. I must drive this type of car. Perspective is what changes the game. Stop complaining about the divorce. Stop complaining about the job loss. Are you going to complain in the face of conflict? Or are you going to seize the opportunity? What if losing your job was the opportunity? What if the divorce is an opportunity? What if the bankruptcy is an opportunity? What if the one you love was an opportunity for you to reconnect with somebody and forgive them? Something inside of you that's a snap. You gotta get tired of being broke. I'm talking to that person who grew up without a father. I'm talking to that person that is acquainted with pain. I'm talking to that person that knows what it's like to come from nothing. And so you literally have nothing to lose. And the only thing that's in your head is a dream. The only thing that's in your head is I have what it takes to get to the top of that hill. You must understand that there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Goliath! There will be many giants in your life. There will be depression. There will be anxiety. There will be oppression. There will be stress. There will be overwhelm. Will you buckle under the pressure or will you rise to the occasion? You are not dead yet. You may be tired, but you are not dead. You may be broken, but you are not dead. You may be weary, but you are not dead. You have an opportunity to rise above what happened to you. You gotta make it up in your mind that all you have is all you need. What are you waiting for? I want to remind you that you started this journey for a reason. No one's coming to fucking save you. This is you versus you. Get out of bed. We got goals to achieve.
and nobody's coming to hold your hand. Truth is, your excuses are bullshit. You just got to step into your fucking power. Nobody can make that change for you. It's got to come from you. But it's time to grind. So keep pushing forward. You owe it to yourself to keep going. I'm going to utilize every minute of every goddamn day to the fullest so I can achieve my goals and live up to my true potential. The only person who's here to help you is the person you see in that mirror. This is the hardest grind you're ever going to have to do in your life. And it's a continuous thing. You are powerful. You are relentless. You are enough. You just got to step into your f***ing power. Time. That scares the f*** out of me. And it's because it's always fading. Do I have enough? Am I wasting it? Should I be working harder? Have I been utilizing it properly? All of these questions are running through my mind on a continual basis because I feel like I'm running out of time. It's the only thing I can't get back. You see, money will come and go. I can get money back. I'm not worried about that. When it comes down to emotions, I'm going to deal with pain. I'm going to deal with happiness. I'm going to deal with anger, being anxious, depression, and more. But I'm always worried about time. It's because I know it is ever fading. It's one of the reasons why I embraced my motto, live full, die empty. I made an active choice to start spending and living every single day to the f***ing fullest. So when I die, I can die with no regrets. You see, I want to leave a legacy when I die. I want to be remembered forever. And playing it safe, acting like everybody else, ain't going to f***ing get me there. I'm not going to be one of the people laying on my f***ing deathbed, looking back at my life, wishing I did more. I'm not going to be somebody who looks back at my life and regrets that I never took action. So I'm going to utilize every minute of every goddamn day to the fullest so I can achieve my goals and live up to my true potential. Yes, it terrifies me that I could just be gone from this world tomorrow like that. Embrace the time you have on this planet because it could be gone tomorrow. What are you waiting for? You keep looking around, breathing heavy, listening to that alarm, beep, beep, beep. News flash, homie. No one's coming to fucking save you. This is you versus you. I know that voice in the back of your head is telling you that another five minutes of sleep is okay. What's resting another day gonna do? But it's time to grind. Get out of bed. We got goals to achieve. And nobody's coming to hold your hand. The only person who's here to help you is the person you see in that mirror. You gotta rely on them. And you gotta block out that voice that tells you you can't do it. This is the hardest grind you're ever gonna have to do in your life. Step into your power and slay the day. Here's the truth. I don't know the secret to staying motivated so you can achieve your dreams. I don't. I'm sorry if you thought that I did, but I don't. I'm just like you. I'll wake up in the morning and the last f***ing thing I want to do is get out of bed and start working. The last thing I want to do is put on my shoes and go to the gym. The last thing I want to can do is start pushing towards the goals that I set earlier that year. I'm fucking exhausted. I just want a break. So I get it. I know where you're coming from. 
That voice is hard to cut off and I deal with it as well. But there's just something in me that keeps me going. You see, there will be days where I feel emotionally beaten, anxious as f and in my own head. There's days where I feel so filled with emotion, all I want to do is quit, telling myself every excuse in the book that it is okay to quit. But I just can't find that in myself to do it. And it's because my heart and my soul just scream at me to stop making excuses. At the end of the day, I gotta hold myself to that standard. So I don't complain to nobody. And I realize that I have the power. The gym isn't a fucking option. It's just part of my day. Getting up and getting work done, going to work, is not a fucking option. It's just ingrained in my life. But you're gonna have to flip that switch yourself. You gotta look internally. Nobody can make that change for you. It's gotta come from you. Giving up isn't going to do anything for you. You owe it to yourself to keep going. So keep pushing forward. Don't give up. There's a reason why you started this journey in the first place. I want you to think about that right now. Why did you begin? Why did you take that first step in the first place? You got that thought? Are you thinking about that goal? Now realize that if you give up, you are spitting on that goal. You are actively choosing to give up on the things that you would like to achieve. I understand it's hard, but life is meant to test you. It's supposed to push you to your breaking point. Because diamonds are only formed through immense pressure. You feel like your life is going to last a long time. And if I was to talk to my 26 year old self, I would tell that kid that you don't have time. And And you really, you don't know when it's going to end. And so, get out there and do the things you want to do. Get out there and get after them now. Don't wait another second. Take advantage of it. Get out there and live. And strive to be better. Because the life you've got, which I just said was a gift, it is a gift. To live it. Yeah, I, I always want to be a commando, competent at your job. People tell me all the time, it's hard to get wealthy. It's hard to grind. It's hard to be focused. How do you even do these speeches? It's hard to stay motivated. It's hard to stay broke. It's hard to stay depressed. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. You either gonna work for it, or you gonna sit there and let life knock you down and dare you to get back up. It's hard to practice perseverance. It's hard to practice compassion and forgiveness. It's hard to set personal goals. It's hard to take care of yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to live in bitterness and unforgiveness. It's difficult to be jealous of somebody. It's hard to let yourself go. 
it can be difficult to lay your life down and humble yourself and rid yourself of the disease of ego, pride, and comparison and competition. It's, it's difficult. It's hard to be creative. It's hard to be an introvert. It's hard to be an extrovert. Singleness can be difficult. Marriage can be difficult. Raising your children on your own can be difficult. It's hard to wake up early. It's hard to wake up late. But there's a reward on the other side of waking up early. If you wake up late, you've lost too much daylight. What somebody else did before you woke up, now you only have a fraction of the day to get it done. There's a reward on the other side of one pain, and there is regret on the other side of the other pain. And if you're going to win the reward, you're going to have to persevere. You're going to need endurance. You're going to need to be consistent. And on the other end of the pendulum, there is the pain of regret, where you did nothing because you were afraid you would make a mistake. The pain of regret will hurt you. So choose your heart. Make a decision. I want the pain of finishing something. I want the pain of persevering. Give me the pain of forgiving my haters. Give me the pain of forgiving people that tried to kill me. Give me the pain of letting it go. Give me the pain of growth. Give me the pain of acquiring new skill sets and talents. Give me the pain of managing my time well. Give me the pain of waking up early. Give me the pain of praying when I didn't feel like it. Forgiving when I didn't feel like it. Letting go. Give me the pain. I'll take that pain because of the on the side of that pain, there is a reward. Every single day of my life, I'll take reward over regrets. Will you keep sleeping on your potential? Or will you wake up and make it happen? Choose your pain today. The anguish, the irritation, the frustration that you feel today will be your strength to leap walls tomorrow, to leap hurdles tomorrow, to champion the day tomorrow. So you gotta turn your pain into progress. You gotta learn how to turn your pain into power. Jealousy is one of the most powerful directional signals on the planet. Because you're only jealous of people that are doing things or have things that you actually want. It's impossible to be fake jealous. Whatever you're jealous of is hitting something deeply personal. Fucking pay attention to it. Instead of stewing in it, go, oh, flip it. How could I take those things that I'm really now really inspired by and take action and go get them in my life? Because the thing about jealousy is it's just your inspiration that's blocked. Most folks know what they dream about and what they want. And yet they're spending all of their time and energy arguing against what they want. And so you can have all these epiphanies. I hope that when somebody listens to our conversation and watches this, that they have a massive aha moment. But it's not going to mean being sh if you don't take action and do something about it. The aha moment is the door that opens. But your new life does not begin unless you can step through the door. I keep going. I am saying I believe in myself. Tearing yourself down over the sh that you've done, it's not going to empower you to change the patterns that are keeping you stuck. People will cheer for you and me, they won't cheer for themselves. I'm the same way. The point of the story is, it's so easy to see what somebody else should do. It's so easy to cheer for somebody else. We all do that, right? We cheer for our favorite sports teams. We follow our favorite influencers and authors. We plan birthday parties for our friends. We take on extra work from our colleagues. We support everyone around us. We do not know how to do it for ourselves. The most motivating force in the world on the planet, based on research, hands down, is empowerment, encouragement, support, and celebration. And for our entire lives, we have outsourced that to somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else.
And that moment in the mirror every morning could be a profound moment where you lift yourself up and you check back in with your intention.